It started with the crack of a bat and a huge vision. They wanted something to happen downtown. They remembered when the town used to be vital. They have wanted to go back to a vital downtown community. And as a result, this is it. More than a year of long days put in by some of the area's finest builders. 900 trucks of concrete, 140,000 watts of lights, miles of steel, and tens of thousands of tiles. The future home of Kannapolis baseball took shape. And while the craftsmen worked on West Avenue, the team began to form a new identity for baseball in downtown Kannapolis. Listening to fans all the while. Um, the cannons. Kannapolis possums. I'd like to see it still have Kannapolis in it. Something exciting, futuristic, maybe a, a catchy. Something that has to do with cannabis. How do we create a character that appeals to both men and women, people young and old, and in between, uh, baseball fans and casual fans, and people who are not necessarily baseball fans yet. In October of 2019, the time was right. The big reveal took West Avenue by storm and introduced the region to a new lovable mustachio daredevil. The new name, Cannonballers, evokes the founders of Kannapolis while also looking forward to a bold new era. The team and construction plowed through milestones. And with the help of their fearless leader, Boomer, they were hurtling towards opening day when all of a sudden, Breaking developments tonight in the coronavirus outbreak. The, first the world shut down. The cannonballers were at a standstill. This is truly a matter of life and death. The team went home. Uncertain of what was next. In May, they opened the gates of Atrium Health Ballpark and served its first baller basket. The team worked tirelessly to give you all an escape throughout the hardest of years. We're gonna go get some ice cream. So let's go get some ice cream. Like who doesn't love ice cream? Because I love ice cream. And after months of hard work by our amazing healthcare heroes, hope arrived in the form of a vial. Hundreds received a vaccine at the ballpark itself. With spring came home. Tuesday, May 4th will be the opening day for the Cannon Ballers. They're scheduled to play 60 home games from May through September. And the promise of baseball. Finally, 